too old about that. But this segment of the show we're going to talk about, uh, since it is again Black History Month, we're going to bring another subject to the table. We're going to talk about um, Jackie Robinson. He's definitely uh, he's, uh, a hero uh, in, you know, in our segment of Heroes to History because he was a person that was able to, after um, you know, so many years of uh, the, uh, the Negro uh, League baseball, having their own, you know, having their own league over the years. I mean, they went to a point in 1884 when actually um, baseball was been going on for a long time, obviously. And uh, there were some black players that did play in some of the, uh, some of the, like we call form leagues a day, or maybe some of the minor league stuff. And, and they played in like the American Association when that league was out there, but nothing like the major league, national and uh, American league like it is today. Um, but then, for whatever reason, for 56 years, black was banned from playing on those teams. And they, they pretty much, um, you know, started doing their own thing. A lot of them created their own league, and, uh, and it was very successful. There were several leagues out there. You know, we hit a Negro League, and we just think that it was one shot, one league. But it was actually several leagues over the years that, that this was going on, and they had some of the great players. There are actually some of these players that are in the Hall of Fame now. Uh, you, you know, you have some good players out there. You have the people like Satchel Page that uh, didn't make it to the uh, – Cleveland Indians until he was 42 years old. He was a rookie at 42. He was a great pitcher in the Negro League, and, and he's just a few of many, 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 many people that uh, that played in that league during that time. I mean, the, the names go on and on and on. And uh, so when Jackie Robinson comes aboard, you know, and get um, and wound up getting drafted by uh, the uh, the Dodgers in, in uh, I think it was 1946, and uh, became the first black player. Uh, drafted by the Dodgers, but right behind him, uh, another player, uh, Larry Dope, he uh, went to the Cleveland Indians, where he played for a while, and then uh, 1947, Jack Robinson um, won um, Rookie of the Year, so he proven to be a great baseball player, obviously, uh, was able, like I said again, to penetrate that color barrier, that was very complicated, I'm sure, for him and his family, playing during that era when people were O, co, not covertly, but it was overtly out there saying things about him, calling him names, threatening him. You know, didn't want him playing, uh, you know, baseball with with an all white team at that time in some cases. But the Dodge, Brooklyn Dodgers at the time, they were called. You know, went out there and realized that these players had been out and about and they had been doing great jobs. And by by the time that happened, uh, 19, about 1952, there was 150 some black African American players uh, in Major League Baseball at that point. Uh, because everybody then, you know, once one person gets in and uh, and be and, and contributes to the team, not just playing to be playing, but actually contribute to the team, then everybody starts to say, well, hey, maybe we can, you know, get this person, maybe we can get that person. But these weren't just people being picked because of the color of their skin. These were actually great baseball players. And the reason why they had their own league, because when you're being shut out of other leagues, you're not being shut out the American dream. You want to go out and you, you know, you want to play yourself, and if you can't beat them, then you basically join them. So if you can't be a part of the American League at the time or the uh, uh, National League or whichever one it was in play at that point, then the only other thing you can do is create your own league, and, and they did that very successfully. And they had some great teams, and I remember one time I think they played at, uh, at one of the parks where they had over 20,000 people there uh, watching their games, and um, that made a big difference. So but Jackie Robinson breaking the color barrier is a big deal for me. Uh, I'm sure it was for a lot of people that, that enjoy sports and realize how did African Americans in a whole uh, get into uh, Major League Baseball as an organized uh, league and, and play baseball. I know a lot of people think that Jack Robinson was the first one that played in any baseball game that 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 was that was had that was okay was had white players in it, but he wasn't because it's back as far as back like I said, it's 1884. Uh, there were people that was uh, doing some a little bit of integrating. But then that all of a sudden came to a halt, and for 56 years they wouldn't. No African Americans were allowed to integrate any baseball with any uh, white teams or players at that point until, uh, like I said, Jackie Robinson came along, and and at, during the time when people had their own league, and eventually it became well known that these some of these teams were playing. They was they were playing. They was willing to play. They played even against some of the uh, Cincinnati Reds from time. They was willing to go out and show their skills and show that they wasn't just a bunch of black people running around. In, in the baseball down, but they, they actually had skills. They could pitch, they could catch, they could throw, they could do other things. So, uh, Jackie Robinson is definitely a hero because every time you got somebody that's the pioneer, uh, uh, as we know it, and in, 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 in this era we're talking about, we're talking about in a, in a different era. So, 
um, Jackie Robinson is the, is the person of the, of the uh, month for me as far as from our heroes to history.